5.4 million people died during Congo's seven-year civil war between 1996 and 2003. Millions more have been displaced from their homes, and violence continues to this day. Mission and Services partner, L'Église du Christ au Congo, is working to fill the void of state-provided social services through its Department of Women, Children and Family. L'Église du Christ au Congo has long worked with unaccompanied children, many of whom are survivors of the pervasive sexual violence that has characterized the civil war. Bishop Diodane Mbaya Chiekani of L'Église du Christ au Congo has seen firsthand the trauma of the war and the impact of Mission and Services partnership. It is something totally different and strange. Imagine a troop, a group of people come home and uh, they take the mother and uh, they oblige the sons to turn the mother to uh, a kind of wife in front of the father, of the sisters and uh, the whole community. You ask yourself, is it really for the need of sexual uh, interest? Or is it something else? So the way to define it is really evil. Because it is planned with uh, a very bad intent. Uh, and uh, it is uh, really a strategy to uh, dehumanize people, to destroy society. L'Église du Christ au Congo works through local ministries such as the Pray Now Light School in Goma to provide food, education, and trauma healing to children and mothers, many of whom are themselves young girls. Marie was raped at age 11. Now 19, she has twin boys aged 8. Marie received an education, support, and trauma counseling through Pray Now when she was a girl. Now her sons attend Pray Now, while Marie studies humanities at university. We count the United Church of Canada amongst, uh, will I say, the best friends of the ASI. Through all this hardship, uh, the United Church of Canada has continued to uh, bring a hand, a strong hand, uh, in terms of uh, supporting projects or the work of the church in uh, various ways. Uh, these are things we really appreciate and uh, we would like to see this cooperation to continue. Your gifts to the mission and service of the United Church of Canada continue to transform lives around the world. Thank you, and please continue to give.